Hello everybody, welcome to Hedgehog Tech Talk. In this video, we're going to discuss a little bit about our slider assembly. One of the key features in our umbrella is, of course, our WinFlex suspension system. Uh, how that works is that each of these ribs is on its own sliding mechanism, and what that does is it prevents the umbrella from flipping inside out. Uh, I have a separate video explaining that in a little bit more detail, uh, but what I have right here is two out of the six ribs rigged up on our slider assembly. Uh, as you can see right here, each of these ribs can slide independently on this dual rail system. Uh, let me take this apart and I'll explain this a little bit more. So in the last section of this rib right here is pinned on a small little polymer piece and we call that the shuttle. And each of these shuttles have two holes in them that ride on the rails of this slider. And no lubrication is necessary as we just have polymer on metal and it slides nice and free. In our original design back in 2015, we didn't use a shuttle and rail system. Uh, we did more of a pin and slot hole type of mechanism. Uh, you can see that in our original Kickstarter video. Um, that system works great. It's just that it's very difficult to manufacture and the reliability wasn't really there, uh, especially if there's a lot of friction in the system. Um, so in order for it to be easily manufactured and have high reli reliability without too much excess friction on the rails, we decided to change it to a shuttle and rail system. Uh, we think that the results turned out very good. Uh, the system right here requires um, the minimal amount of parts necessary to make this all happen uh, without too many complex um, uh, connections. So for example, we don't even have a threaded connection anywhere in the system. Um, the entire slider piece right here just all snaps into place after all six ribs have been fully assembled. So the worker can just install this core piece right here and snap it all together and it's ready for the next step. Um, it actually took a lot of time um, to be able for us to figure this out. Uh, originally we had um, some threaded cap on here. We also had an idea of using a uh, lock ring, but in the end of the day, just having straight up plastic locking me mechanism was actually the most reliable and quickest way to put this together. And we're quite happy with the results. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the technical videos in this series and stop by our website. Uh, bye for now.